They started that, man, when, I don't know what year they started it, but I heard about it maybe in 04 time frame. Yeah, that's about right. Is when uh, we yep. started, when I started hearing about it in the teams and then, and then I was going to go, we did, uh, we did a course with the British MI, with some former MI6 guys, yep. which was actually a really, it was one of my favorite courses mm -hmm. uh, that I've ever done. Never fired a shot, never blew anything up, but it was all about, you know, blending in yep. and, and, uh, and it, it was some of the coolest shit I've ever done, winding yep. up on the. I don't know, 18th, 20th story Bank of America building. Nobody knows who the hell you yep. are. It's just what can you infiltrate yourself into and without, you know, being detected, what happens when you get right. questioned? How do you handle all that? And I really fucking liked that course. And then, um, and uh, whatever, I'm getting long winded. But then I was supposed to go to the. I was supposed to go, they picked me to go to some course at uh, MI6. Oh uh, yeah? Yeah, and then, and then I got yanked and uh, went, to, went to war, went to Afghanistan, yeah, so. that's too bad. Yeah. I, now that I think about it, I, we actually had SEALs in my, my broken axle class. Oh, really? Yep, we did. Yeah. Good guys. <clears throat> I don't know, looking back, you know, if I would have, uh, I mean, because I would have given up a lot of combat experience had I wound up going to that course and then eventually getting into the ASOT thing. Uh, so I don't necessarily uh, regret it or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, but it was really, it was just so different than blowing shit up and shooting and shoot, move, communicate, right. going in the kill house, doing close quarters combat battle. You know what I mean? Yep. Taking houses down and. And then you're doing something that's really permissive and blending in. And it was yeah. like, that was the James Bond shit of the, you know what I mean? It was pretty fucking cool. Guys use that a lot. In the, there was a, a guy I went through the Q course with that actually went Delta Force. And they use that a lot over there. And he actually dressed up like Hodge, yeah. got on a bike, and drove through Fallujah on a bike. And he's dark complexion with a beard and everything, and mapped out all the positions they had already set up in Fallujah, and went back and reported, and then went in there and attacked them all. I mean, that stuff is viable. Even when we worked with the agency, you still got the SDR portion and stuff like that, and you know, you're always watching your back, and you learn how to do that, all that kind of work. Oh yeah, it all came. Uh it all came like when we started, when I started working there, you know, before I met you at all. I like that stuff, man. Yeah, I really like that under the radar. You're out there on your own. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, uh, it's, it's just, it's another, it's just a whole nother, whatever you want to call it, trade yeah. craft. That, I loved it. I love trade craft. I love figuring it out things. I even probably, I still do it today when I want to drive around. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's something with me. And uh, I just do it just to do it. You know, I'm always watching, always looking, always trying to, what's he going to do? Always trying to keep a step. You know, it's funny because it's just, it's ingrained in you, I guess, after you do it for so long, you know. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed working for the agency. It was a good time. Yeah. Working for them, with them, something like that. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh...